Hey, what up guys? Mike here, Owens Pressure Washing. Um, I already put the vinyl on, but I'll maybe uh, include a link in the description on how you do it. Uh, some guy, his name's Joe Spore. I met him on Facebook, and um, he makes yard signs for people. He makes a bunch of stuff as far as signage, yard signs, uh, business cards, all that. Um, anyway, I met him on Facebook. I ordered some signs from him. Actually, I have one over here. And he's got a good price. It's like a hundred and something for ten front and back signs. And um, you know they're t they're a little small, but they you know does the trick. Anyway. So he's a, he's a pretty cool guy when you meet him. Well, I never met him, but when I talked to him online, he's a pretty decent dude, and he'll chat with you. Um, so I asked him, you know, do you do vinyl wraps? And he's like, yeah, I can make vinyl, you know. And he seemed a little hesitant on doing it. But anyway, so he made a design for me, and I wrapped my trailer. Basically what it is is a sticker and um, the way you put it on is you need one of these things squeegee and see that paper that's on the back of this so what, you, what I do is I take two pieces of tape I put one in this corner and one in this corner all right and what I did was I made sure it was level by sticking it up and uh, you know I didn't do the best job but it is doable um some bubbles but uh what i do is i all right so i put a tape there tape there made it level and then what i did was i taped a hinge they call it which is one solid piece of tape all the way across to about half all right and what i did was i so now this is secure there and then I have my point, reference point right there. So what I did was I took that tape off, folded it, peeled the back sticker off, and held it up. And what I did was I took soap, little dish soap and water, and I sprayed behind it. So I peeled it off, ripped that backing off on this section, and put it back up, and then I squeegee the air bubbles out. Now, granted, I didn't do the best job in the world, but there's not many air bubbles other than um, my hardware, my bolts and stuff, which later on I'm going to take a heat gun to it and kind of just mold it, you know, and I'll even pop a little hole for air to get out if I need to, but yeah, that's it. I mean, it's, you know, this isn't going to be my trailer forever. This is my first startup. Yeah, what I was saying was, this isn't going to be my trailer forever. This is my first one, so instead of spending thousands on a wrap, I just, uh, you know, spent 160, I think, maybe less than 200, let's say that, and did it myself, and it came out pretty decent. But uh, the key is when, you know, when I said you tape the hinge, so you you got this spot stuck up there. Now the back's still in there, so it's not stuck to the surface. You just got to tape each well you tape each corner so you have it where you want it you place it step back make sure it looks good hinge half of the top so that's solid not good so put tape right here to the half so that's not going nowhere take this corner off fold it back peel the backing off all right and then you take your squirt bottle of soap and dish soap and just drench the back down drench the back down really good and then even spray the back of the sticker a little bit and when you put it back up you take the squeegee and you slide everything out when it's wet it kind of just makes it a lot easier to move around but yeah so his name's joe spore look him up on facebook he'll hook you up vinyl vinyl signs for your trailer all right tell him i sent you